Hey, welcome back to Fit for Feast. My name is Katrina. And my name is Sloan. And today Katrina and I are going to be making some of our favorite desserts. So Katrina is going to be making a cake, which is more of your like classic sweet tooth kind of dessert. And then I'm going to be making a healthy alternative, which will be a healthy banana bread. Since I've been in quarantine, I've been making so many desserts. So I decided that I would look out for recipes that are a healthy variation of what I usually like to make. So one of my favorite desserts is banana bread. So this is just kind of a healthier version, which I actually found on TikTok, but it's so good. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we're gonna mash up four ripe bananas. Then we're gonna add in two eggs. Then 80 milliliters of melted coconut oil. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of honey. and one tablespoon of maple syrup. Then 90 milliliters of coconut milk. So in a separate bowl, I'm gonna be mixing in the dry ingredients now. So we're gonna start off with one cup of gluten-free pep, gluten-free pop, <laughs> flour, of gluten-free <laughs> Gluten-free flour, I guess. Okay, so I've now tried two times to say this. We are using one cup of gluten-free flour. <laughs> um, the original <laughs> recipe actually is buckwheat flour. We're gonna try some gluten-free flour. Hopefully that works, we'll see. And then we're gonna put one teaspoon of baking soda and baking powder. Then to finish it off, we're gonna use three teaspoons of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Okay, so you can either use parchment paper or you can just grease the pan. Okay, so that's it. I know it does look dark, but don't worry, it isn't burnt. <laughs> so if you try it, let us know, and hopefully you like it just as much as I do. Okay, so I'm gonna be making a lemon cake because it's my brother's birthday and that's what he likes. But um, I'm using the box because I didn't wanna ruin his birthday and poison him with trying to make it myself. So we're just gonna use this. All right, so first we're gonna put in the mix. I just missed half of the bowl. All right, next I'm cracking three eggs. One. Got no shells so far. Three. <laughs> All right, next, filled it up with one cup of water. I feel like I have egg on my face. I can like feel it. <laughs> All right, next, we need a third cup of vegetable oil. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. All right, now we're pouring in the vegetable oil. All right, now that we have all of our ingredients in, it's time to mix. And I don't have a whisk at my college house, so I'm just using a spoon. This really hurts my arm. It's so, like 
chunky. Okay, so I'm just, I just got these like foil pans, so I don't have to clean anything, but I'm just bringing a vegetable oil, put the cake in. All right, now it's time to pour in the batter. I kind of want to make two layers, but if this doesn't fill, then I'm just going to make one. Okay, so the cakes are in the oven and I'm going to check on them in about like 22 minutes. All right, while we're waiting for the cakes to bake, we're going to make the filling. So I'm just using like this pudding <laughs> making thing. Um, pouring those in there, I'm using two of them. All right, so I forgot to buy milk, so I'm just putting in water. We're gonna make this work. Okay, so I finished making the pudding, so now I'm putting it in the fridge to cool down for a few minutes. Okay, so the pudding's out of the fridge and the cakes are done. I already cut off the like um, tops of the cakes just to make them more like flat, but now I'm just gonna fill the whole top of one of them with the pudding. Now that I have that done and it's all filled, I'm putting one cake on top of the other. All right, now that my cake is stacked, I'm gonna ice it with the cream cheese frosting and just cover the whole thing. Okay, so I just finished icing it. It looks so messy, but you know, I don't taste good, so it's okay. Um, I forgot to put the toothpick in the middle of the cakes, which is what keeps them two together, so that's a disaster. All I need, though, to do is put on the candles, and then we're good to go for my brother's birthday. All right, here's the lemon cake all done. I am so excited to eat it. It turned out pretty good. I'm not, like, a professional baker, but from what it is, you know, it looks good. So again, please let us know if you've tried either of these recipes. You can send us a picture over Instagram. And as usual, you can give a thumbs up if you like the video or subscribe to our channel. See you later on Fit for a Feast. Bye. Bye.